the tree. Bum, ba bum, skip the rope. Bum, ba bum, look at me. All together now, all together now, all together now. Hello, everybody. It's me, Miss Lisa. Today, I would like to share with you one of my favorite squirrel stories. It's called The Squirrels Who Squabbled. The Squirrels Who Squabbled by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. In a towering forest where summer had been, the leaves turned to gold as a cold wind blew in, and as autumn arrived with a sky raging red, the sleepiest creatures got ready for bed, while up in a tree swung a flighty young squirrel who everyone knew as Spontaneous Cyril. Now most foresty folk had seen to their needs, through the plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds, They'd built up their stores so they'd be well fed through the frosting of winter that glittered ahead. But Cyril, he lived in the now and the here. He'd adventured and partied his way through the year. So his cupboard was empty, his hollow was bare. He hadn't a mouthful of food anywhere. But wait! What was that? Over there, take a look. A single lone pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight, and for very good reason, for inside were the very last nuts of the season. But Cyril wasn't alone. There were more hungry eyes. Yes, Plan ahead Bruce had his sights on the prize. Though he'd gathered fresh treasures of every sort, Bruce was convinced he was one pine cone short. I simply must have it, he wistfully cried, as he dreamt of the fresh, juicy pine nuts inside. So as Cyril set off on his way to the ground, Bruce, he was also last pinecone bound. They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched at the bark in their scampering scramble. But their panic and haste shook the tips of the spruce and the pinecone, it trembled and then it came loose. Both squirrels gave chase at a lightning pace. This was the start of a wild, nutty race. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No, mine, hollered Bruce. You don't stand a chance. Give up. It's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. This cone is not yours. Stay back, shouted Bruce. This cone's for my stores. It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged on the nose of a slumbering bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a stop. Then teetered and wobbled and quivered and plop. Both squirrels followed. Oh, the water was fast. Would they learn that they needed each other at last? But each was intent on how he could win, so they didn't quite notice a bird swooping in. Cyril and Bruce, they watched in dismay as their cone disappeared up, up, up and away. Come back, shouted Cyril. There are nuts, exclaimed Bruce, but all hope was gone. It was simply no use. And meanwhile they drifted, 
right to the ledge. Greed, it was driving them over the edge. Cyril and Bruce, they had taken a fall. They were paying the price for wanting it all. They'd squandered their chances to team up and share with their nutty young hopes simply end in despair. Bruised and bedraggled, they swept past dry land. Cyril grabbed at a branch with a trembling hand. Catching Bruce with the other, he heaved and he huffed and pulled him to safety with panting and puffs. They dragged themselves up with sputtering wiggles. Then Bruce looked at Cyril and exploded in giggles. How silly we are, he managed to mutter. How greedy I've been, he proclaimed with a sputter. We shall change from today. May the squabbling cease. We should celebrate, seeing we're both in one piece. From that day forward, they made a great pair. They would gather together and found they could share. Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end. The best thing to share is a laugh with a friend. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.